Good afternoon, everybody. Hello and welcome. My name is Paul Grogan, and yes, welcome to the second of four live streams today. Uh, all very different. Uh, let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. Hopefully, everything is working fine. I think so. But yeah, let me know anyway. Um, so, right now, for the next hour or so, uh, I'm going to be playing through a game called Swatch which is a game that I don't know that much about, to be honest. Um, but the designer of the game, Scott, uh, was going to be taking the game to UK Games Expo as a small uh, UK independent publisher. Going to UK Games Expo is a, is, is a big thing because that's where a lot of sales are made. And of course, UK Games Expo, not happening this year. So I reached out to Scott and say, look, if you want to do a video, let's come onto the show. And if you teach me how to play, it means I don't actually have to learn the game in advance. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically what I'm doing today. So this video is not a sponsored video at all. Um, it's purely funded through the support of my Patreon campaign. So thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Uh, and without further ado, let's say hello to Scott. Hello, Scott. Hello. So how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Yeah. Although it's four o'clock, and I just said, yeah, second of four live streams today. It's going to be a it's going to be a long day, <laughs> uh, yeah. which which will probably be stretching into tomorrow if if. If the last stream that I'm doing goes on as long as I think it's doing, it will actually run into tomorrow. Oh, so you're doing, you know, like an all-nighter thing. <clears throat> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to do some more of the Tainted Grail digital campaign. So we will we will see how we get on. Right, tell us a little bit about uh, Swatch then. Um, okay, so um, Swatch is a game that I've designed. And as Paul mentioned, um, it was going to be launched alongside the UK Games Expo. Um, it was going to be going live on Kickstarter um, in May originally, and mm -hmm. then UK Games Expo got uh, postponed, so I postponed my campaign with it. As you said, as a sm small designer, um, those kind of shows are really integral to um, getting eyes on your on your product. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, as it was ultimately cancelled, I decided to stick with it. Uh, so I've got a launch date of August going ahead. And right. uh, okay, got to say so um, a lot of thanks for. Um, bringing this onto your channel. Um, That's all right. It's quite exciting to be uh, to be playing it with uh, so many new people. Yeah, that are going to get to experience it. Yeah, because you've been actually running playtests of this. Well, not playtests, but you've been running demos of this on Tabletop Simulator uh, for a few weeks now, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I put um, an earlier version up of it on Tabletop Simulator earlier in the year. Yeah, and then it, it had a fancy overhaul with all the graphics that you can see. Um, yeah within the last month or so. And yeah, I've been doing um, demos of it the last couple of weeks with some yeah. virtual game nights. Cool. So yeah, so Scott wasn't going to UK Games Expo to actually sell the game. He was there going to be showing it off to people, you know, in preparation for a, for a Kickstarter launch. Um, and yeah, he's not going to have the exposure of that, but also saving on the expense of hiring a booth at UK Games Expo, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Um, yeah. I've, yeah, I've, I should be um, attending next year. Right, it is my plan to to keep the uh, keep the spots, but yeah. obviously there's uh, there's no guarantees for that at the moment. So we'll yeah. see. So if people are interested in this game, it will be going live on Kickstarter uh, in August. Do you have a specific date in August? Uh, August fourth is currently looking to be the most likely date. Right. Um, it may vary by a, f a few days, but yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty solid at this point. Okay, and then once you've got a link, if you let me know, and we'll put it into these, uh, we'll put it into the show notes of this video so that people can find it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, right, now, we've agreed today to play a three-player game. Uh, all of our other friends were busy, um, but we managed to find Emma. <laughs> Hi, uh, my cat decided to start meowing right this second. Well, that's, that's fine, cats cats are allowed. I quite often, ha I quite often have some of my cats walk all over the table during a during a live stream yeah so, that's um, true there's yeah. a very so, real possibility for me as well <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing emma i'm doing good thank you thank you for having me that's all right on... do you want to introduce yourself <laughs> to uh, to people hi uh, i'm emma i post random stuff on twitter and mostly on twitter and i started a podcast this year called the pointless bear podcast where, where did just the name for the podcast come from I really like parrots. Oh, that yeah. way. <laughs> so, um, and I thought to uh, pointless parrot is kind of like, it, it's just a whole bunch of craziness and it just fits by, I kind of want to do stuff I enjoy and that's just came, that just came together in. Good, good. This. Cool. 
Right, so we're, we're going to hand over to Scott now to uh, to teach me uh, how to play. Emma, have you played this before then? No, not yet. You haven't? Oh, I thought no. you'd played it before. Right, so Scott is now going to teach both of us how to play. Off you go, Scott. Yep. Okay, so in Swatch, uh, we are all artists. And we experiment and design to create um, colour schemes for um, a, a company that deals with the textiles, graphic design, fashion industry, wherever you're going to see like hot new colours of the season. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's what we do. Our job is to um, experiment and just mix colours and see see what works. Um, however, all of us as artists, uh, shame, share the same studio. Uh, so being the competitive people we are, uh, we're going to have to be grabbing from the same resources, the same inks, pigments, whatever, um, to try and get the, the best colour scheme out of the three of us. Okay. So, uh, just to take you through what you can see in front of you, uh, at the top row here, um, we've got schemes. Mm -hmm. And so this is, we've had one uh, scheme card dealt to each of us, which is in your scheme spot in your player uh, space. And oh, yeah. you can um, put that into your hand if you want, or or peek at it, whichever. Okay. And I'm going to do that currently. There we go. Remember the keyboard shortcuts for looking at it. There you go. So that's mine. And what these schemes do is that they will um, guide you towards creating a colour scheme. Right. So uh, it has an element of colour theory, which means that no matter what combination you, you make, it's going to look good. Okay. which is really what this is all about. So the next cards, we've got six decks here of um, the, the namesake of the game, the swatches. These are piles um, of different colours that we'll be creating to put into our colour schemes. They all have a resource cost, uh, which is at the bottom of the card. Yep which is made up of red, green and blue. And on the top, it tells you the colours that you'll need to make that red, green and blue. Right. Which brings us on to these uh, next three rows here. Uh, these are the action cards. So there's three types of action cards. There's add cards. Mm -hmm. uh, these will add the colours cyan, magenta and yellow to your palette. Uh, essentially, when you play these cards, uh, so let's use an example here, this add to cyan on the top row. Yep. When you play that card, you'll take two cyan cubes from the bags here and put it on your palette. Right. Fairly simple. Okay. So there's the um, add cards for, as I said, cyan, magenta, and yellow. The next action card is a mix card. So for instance, this mix one card on the top row. Yep. When you play a mix one card, let's use an example. So I've got these two cyan that I played previously. And let's say I've got magenta as well. When I play this mix one card, uh, there's a mixing reference in front of everyone's play area. Yeah. And what I would do is I would spend one cyan on one magenta token. To create a blue. And then, and I would create a blue. So I put yeah. those back and I grab myself a blue. Okay. So that's how mixing works. For uh, cards, mixed cards that have multiple numbers, for instance, a mix three, um, mm -hmm. you have to be able to mix all three of them. Oh. Right. And it has to be all for the same colour as well. Okay. The third card that we have is the swap card. So when you play a swap card, uh, let's have another example here. Say I've got that two cyan, and mm -hmm. what I really need is a magenta because I want to be able to mix these colours. Yep. I can play a swap card. What that allows me to do is exchange one of my cyan, magenta, or yellow tokens uh, for a, one of a different colour from right. the supply. Okay. There we go. So then I would have one of these. Uh, another option is, say, Emma has a wealth of magenta, <laughs> and I play my swap card. I can actually exchange a colour from my palette with a colour from Emma's palette. Right. Without me agreeing, even. All right. I'm afraid so. Yes. Yeah. And you can only steal from Emma, not from me. Is that right? Yeah. I can. I can. I can take. Uh, from either of you. Oh. And we cannot um, take from him. That's that's the deal oh, breaker. Is that yeah. how it works? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so as long as um, it has to be cyan, magenta or yellow, you can't 
uh, steel, red, green, and blue. Because okay. let's face it, that would just be a bit uh, a bit evil, really. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's the action cards. Um, the turns themselves are quite simple. Um, we'll choose the first player, and we'll take it in turn to place our artists, which are our little meeples in front of us. Yeah. Row by row, so we'll start on the top row for a card that we want. So for instance, say I really wanted this two sign, because I'm using that in all of my examples. I'll place my artist there. And at that point, I would choose to be able to play that card straight away, or put it in my hand, or simply discard it. Right. Uh, just as a quick example, let's say that Emma decides to go for a mix one, and you decide to go for five cyan. After we've all placed our artists and spent these cards, mm -hmm. the row below that becomes the active row. Right. And okay. then we take another turn, pick on the row below, etc., etc. So when we go down, we go back to the top. Yeah. And the cards refresh each turn. Turn order, however, acts slightly differently. So Emma took the card that was furthest to the left. So in the next yeah. turn, she would get to act first. First, that makes right. sense. Right. Yeah. yeah. Then it'd be me. Then it'd be you, Paul. Yeah. So you can manipulate the turn order by picking certain cards. Yeah. They might not be the the best cards for you, but if there's a card on a lower row that you're really after, you'd be able to grab first. that. Yeah. King Domino style. -y. Yes. Yeah. Similar to that. Yeah. So yeah, so essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing cards to add cyan, magenta, and yellow to our palettes. We'll be playing mixed cards to mix them into red, green, and blue, and we'll be using those to spend them to create swatches. Right. And the swatches will then make up our scheme. Just go through the difference again between the requires and the costs. Okay, so um, ultimately, say you wanted to make this uh, number one swatch, yeah. you would need to spend four red, one green, and two blue tokens. Right. Oh, but it's telling you how, how much you, right, how much yeah. you need in order to do that. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, okay. it's just making it a bit simpler and breaking it down into the raw components, as it yeah. were. So you will start by getting the three cyan, six magenta, five yellow, and then you play the mixed cards to mix them together. Right. Gotcha. You can't okay. always guarantee that you'll get exactly the cards you need. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you'll have to sacrifice and take more, more colours than you intended. Okay. And that comes into play at the end of the game. So efficiency is key here. Right. How does uh, it come into play in, at the end of the game? So if you take more cyan than you actually need? Yep, so say um, say I finish my scheme and I've made my three swatches, um, but I've had to take extra cubes here and there. Say I've got three, three extra um, colors left over. Once I finish my scheme, I don't take any more turns. Uh, instead, at the end of each turn, I remove a token until I have none left. And oh, if no right. one has won before then, then I'm the winner. So it'll essentially give you two three more turns to try and win before I do. Right, okay. And winning is having a completed scheme with no cubes left over. Right, okay. So I, my scheme, without giving too much away, is yep. there are six colours at the bottom of it. Yep. Um, so I need to have... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll Those grab one from the deck and yeah, flip it. Yeah, grab one and we'll have a yeah. look at it. Yeah. So let's grab that, flip this one here. Right, okay. So this one, for instance, uh, this one uses analogous colours, and that is essentially means colours that are next to each other in the colour wheel. Right. So um, all schemes are made up of three swatches. In this oh, okay. case, at the end of the game, all of your swatches will have to be from decks that are next to each other. Yeah, so four, five, six, or two, three, four. Yeah, so two, yeah. three, four is just an example. Uh, it, as long as any of these are next to each other, then right. they'll count. What were the uh, colours at the bottom? That was the bit that was confusing me, the six coloured bars at the bottom. Oh yeah, that's just uh, the example of the swatch decks here, uh, so that some of them are coloured ah, in. Ah, right. Okay, that's fine. Might, might make sense now. Yep, me. cool. Um, it's worth mentioning that deck number six and deck number one are considered adjacent they are. Because, because of the colour wheel. Yeah, or the Pac-Man rule, as I like to call it. Yes. The white, white, white. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, okay. we're good to go? I think so. Any more questions? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's determine who's the first player. Who was the last person to paint something? Uh, well, <laughs> about, about 45 minutes ago for me. 
<laughs> well, guess. because well, I was sat downstairs watching some tutorial videos on too many bones while doing a little bit of painting on one of my miniatures. So, yeah, nice. not long ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm fairly sure that's a clear winner. Okay. Excellent. So that means that you are the first player. So okay. the first thing we do is um, we'll go clockwise from here for the first round. Yeah. So everyone uh, first draws a card from the action deck and puts it in their hand. So if you want to grab one, then Emma, okay. then me. There we go. And how so, do the cards in hand work then? You can just so, play them? Yeah, so you have two actions um, right. in a turn. You place an artist on, on the row mm -hmm. and you can interact with that card. And then you can also play a card from your hand. You don't. Right. The, the mandatory thing is placing an artist. The optional thing is um, playing mm -hmm. a card from your hand. So you can play up to two cards a turn, which is obviously maximum efficiency. Uh, what, if you don't move your artist? Uh, so each turn you'll you'll pick one card. So say I put my artist here. then so I can you definitely to... do that. Okay. Yep, and I can choose to play this. Then I can also play something from my hand if I wish. Right, okay. But once they... you've played two cards from your hand, that's it? You, do, you no longer have cards in hand? Or do you draw a card? Uh, we will draw a card... Um, to put into our hand at the beginning of each round. Oh, okay, well. cool, right. So you have two ways of uh, you know building up a hand. Yeah. Um, okay. Oddly enough, if you're playing at your most efficient, you won't have cards in your hand for very long. Right. Because you'll be able to play them as soon as they come in. But that's uh, the the point of the game is that's not always going to happen. You're going okay. to have to make a hard decision so at some point. I'm going to go with that one, and I draw yep. this card then into my hand. Uh, so you can choose to put it into your hand, or you can play it straight away. Oh, I'll just play it straight away. So you can pop it in the discard there. pile and yeah. then grab four magenta. And I get four magenta. Uh, can you promote me on oh, Tabletop yes. Simulator? Because yeah, then I can that. just copy, paste, and that's a little bit easier then. I promise I won't flip the table. <laughs> Ooh, that's very... No, just kidding. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Right, I now have four magenta... Uh, and potentially I could play the other card in my hand if I wanted to, but I don't want yes. to. So we're yep, good. Can, okay. okay, Emma, your choice. I'm taking the five cyan. Cool. And I'm playing it. There is a way to pull five out of the bag, which um, some of my blind playtesters did oh, yes. last night. And I can't remember, because if you... So you, you press click. a number, oh, left click. No, you left click, and while you're holding down the left mouse button, you right click. Ah. And that and that picks a load up. What? Yeah. Yeah, I'd forgotten that Very until you just reminded me. Yeah, I was watching them I was watching them do it uh, last night. I was like, oh, it was Scott, apparently. How Scott's in the chat. He was saying it, it was, was him. Scott, yeah. And he wouldn't divulge the secrets. No, it's well, there you I, go, I've just told you. I, I stayed silent because I was uh, <laughs> I was observing. Okay. Uh Emma, did you want to play your card from your hand? Oh you can play both at the same Oh, right. Yeah, I'm playing it as well. Three yellow. Very nice. Any hand limit? Oh, there's no hand limit, no. Right. Um, okay. The only time that comes into play is if two people are eligible to win in the same right. turn, then whoever has the least cards uh, as a tiebreaker is the winner. Okay, right. Uh, okay, so whilst Emma's <laughs> arranging her smiley face, <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab that... Two. Let's try this out, shall we? The curses of having a trackpad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to do it the peasant way. Okay. Can you not also say like deal? Oh no, that's just colors. Uh, I I can press a number uh, whilst hovering over, and then it puts into my hand. Yeah. Yeah. But then they're in your hand. Okay. So do these cards now get discarded? Uh, so not? these ones stay in play, and what right. we'll do is we refill the row. Did you oh, want it to play oh. your hand card, Scott? Oh, no, I'm good. Saving it. And then we'll flip these over. So the next time you update yeah. this tabletop simulator mod, you can get it to auto-flip cards when you put them onto slots. Oh, oh. Mm. Very nice. I don't know how, but I know you can. That'll be, that, I'll be researching that as soon as I yeah. come up here. <laughs> right, so round two, we yep. all get a card. So we all draw a card, yep. Okay. And then... We go in new turn order, so yeah. yellow, so I get to go first, then you, then Emma. Then me, right, okay. So what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to have a quick look at where what swatches are around. Okay, I'm fairly sure I know what I'm going for now. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my artist on next row to take this six magenta. Mm -hmm. Just going to pop that there and then clone it in a moment. And I'm not going to play anything from my hand, so that's my turn. Okay, I've taken the five. You have a lot of magenta. <laughs> I, I do. Yeah. Right. That's uh. That's. I think that's my go done. Yeah. Oh, just a quick question. There's there's no benefit to being the first to take something, is there? Uh. So there's um. As you can see, there's four. There's four yeah. cards in each color deck. Yeah. Um. They're different shades, and therefore they have slightly different resource costs as well Ah, right okay so then you, you might be building up towards uh say for yeah. instance four red one green and two blue uh, uh, and then someone beats you to the punch and <sighs> what you have to have it instead of is three red two green two blue okay in which case i am going to play my swap card um and i'm going to give you oh. and i'm <laughs> going to take your cyan thank you very much done uh, it's the it's the golden rule, isn't it, of playing playing a game with a designer. If you get a chance to pick on them, you go for it. Well, I can be nice and swap. Oh, so nothing happened. <laughs> you get a net, uh, everyone gets a net gain, and I stay the same. Yeah. And I'm mixing two, so I need to. It's two of the same color, right? Yes, that's right. So that'll be two. Uh, I don't want to have two greens. Never mind. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Move along. Nothing to see here. Okay. So three new cards. And next round. Yep. So we all draw, draw a card. Each. Nice. Right. Okay. And I'm last. Yes. Um... Hmm. hmm. I'll take the mix one, Ooh. and I'll make one green. We're being asked in the chat, is there a solo mode for the game? Currently, no, uh, mm -hmm. but watch this space, because yeah. uh, a good friend of mine uh, who's very experienced on solo modes uh, may be re receiving a copy for development shortly. Right. Is that somebody who we both know? Uh, David Digby? Who, who might be in the chat. If he's, he's in there now, give us a little he's wave. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's 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 a coincidence that Jonathan from the Hexy Beast asked that question, and David Digby actually post, posted the next message in the chat. So uh, ah right. Yes, Jonathan. David David will be working on one. <laughs> he's just found that out. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so Emma, you've taken your yes. turn. So, um, yellow, I think I'm going to grab the yellow. So at least I have a combination. And yeah, let's play something from my hand. Why not? I'm going to play five cyan from my hand as well and okay. get myself some more of that. Um, so uh, just before you go, Paul, obviously yep. at, at this point, um, there's only mixed cards left yes. for you to pick from. If you want a mixed card, that's fine. You've got a nice choice. Mm -hmm. However, if you're still looking for for colours, for instance, um, as the last player to place your artist, you have a choice. What you oh, can yeah. do is skip the active row, and you can instead uh, take a pick from the next row, which would Ooh. be this top row. I like that rule. But then, I, of course, <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm effectively skipping a go by doing that. Is that right? Yes, yes. Okay. So in, in the next turn, you wouldn't be able to place your artist, but you'd still be able to draw and, and play a card from your hand yeah. if you wished. Okay, no, that's that's fine. Um, and I'm tempted to go for the three, but that is last place. So I'm just going to take the two, but I'm just going to put it into my hand. Um, and then I don't have to play a card, do I? No, nope, not if you don't want to. So I won't. There we go. So 
this. Flip, flip. Right. Okay. And then start the next round. We all get a card. Yep. Nice. And then I get to go first. And at this point, I'm going to take the five cyan. You mean that one wasn't enough for you? <laughs> it made a funny <laughs> noise when you took out all the cubes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, dokie. What have I got in my hand? Oof. Oh, and do I want to play anything from hand? Yes, I do. Uh, so that should have gone. That's that. I'm going to play a mix three. So I'm cool. going to mix three cyan, three magenta. Um, yeah. Uh, and basically get three blue. Oh. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. Excellent. Yeah, we're so, three blue. Uh, I'm going to start off by playing a mix four from my hand. Mix four? Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to go for four blue. So, three, four. Let's grab that. So obviously the higher value ones are, are nice if you can do it. Um, yeah. Uh, Gareth in the chat has said he's just signed up for a demo next weekend. Excellent. So, yes, we'll be talking about this at the end, but um, yeah, Scott's going to be running some demos of this next weekend at Virtual Gridcom. So. And then I'm also going to hop on over uh, to this mix one on yep. this row, and I'm going to make myself a green. So Emma, over to you. And buying one of these swatches isn't an action, is it? You just you just do it. Yep. Uh, any point when you've got enough um, yep. of the correct colours to to do so, you can do okay. that. I'm taking the three magenta, and then I'm playing the mix two. So that's two blues. You can just delete them if you want, Emma, because oh, it's yeah. a, it's an infinite bag. Right, next round, we all get a card. And I'm last again. Right, I should probably uh, pay attention again to what swatches I was wanting to make. Yeah. Um, I mean, at the moment, what I'm looking at is they all need all three colours. Yep. So I'm kind of just getting resources. You go for the middle of the road, get a bit of everything, and then I see think, what's available. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do at the moment. Mm -mm. Yeah, the nice thing about it is you can take different approaches, which I've seen. Um, yeah. I did. Um, I, I was demoing this at Aircon um, for all three days, so I got through quite a few games, yeah. and it was it was really interesting to see some of the uh, the different tactics that people had. Some um, aimed just to get exactly what they needed, make mm -hmm. a swatch, move on. Some people just built up resources and then cashed them all in at the end yeah. as well. Yeah. Because uh, then there were no surprises. They they knew knew exactly what was available and then i yeah. took, Sorry, mixing. <laughs> I took yep. four blue and i'm gonna mix two so i'm making yep. uh two uh, red ones okay cool right i'm gonna i need i need a, a bit of everything really um so what i'm gonna do is I'm going to play this five magenta from my hand. Which is definitely more than I need right now, but at least I know I'm going to need some for future swatches. You can never have enough magenta. <laughs> I mean, with an infinite bag, definitely not. <laughs> and then I'm going to hop on over and I'm going to get uh, mix one. And I'm going to make a red. 
There we go. So I've got a bit of everything. But just not in the right order. Well, you've left a six cyan for me. So, because I'm greedy. So, three, four, five, six. Um, and, yeah, I think I'll play a mix two from hand. And we'll have another two blue. So one, two. Uh, deleting that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, that's me done. Cool. Aha. Yellow arrives. Let's go first. Just in time. Oh, now there's a six cyan there, but that's that's way too much. <laughs> <laughs> but it means I will get to go first. Oh, Do we draw a card first? Oh, yeah, draw oh, yeah. a card. Yeah, that might change things. Luckily, we've got Emma on hand to remind us of the rules. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. Now, I'm starting to look at what you two have got as well. So, yeah, I'm actually going to take the six cyan. Um, and then I'm going to play a mix two. So I'm actually just going to get four cyan. One, two, three, four. Lose two magenta. And have... So much blue! blue. <laughs> It's like you're good for blue for the rest of the game Page now. 17, play with the most blue wins. <laughs> so it's, it's in the rule book, definitely. <laughs> oh, you have to check with uh, David again for yeah, that. Yeah, Jerry David. <laughs> I've just sent him a message and told him to add it, so. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to... I've just drawn this card, so I've got to play it because it's the fabled colour yellow I've been waiting so long for. Let's grab some more of those. And then... Oh, that's ideal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for that mix three. Mm -hmm. Which are you gonna use? I am indeed. So, one, two, three. And one, two, three for even more red. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, you got something. I've got something. So four red, one green, and two blue yep. for swatch number one. Yep. So swatch I'm gonna one. grab that Woo. in my okay. swatch spot and uh, flip it. Nice. Oh, then it changes the color as well from the swatch. Yeah. So they're all different different shades in there as well. Uh oh. But, but all of these are number one. All of these are kind of reddish, and all of these yeah. are kind of orangish. So. Yeah, they're all, they're all kind of similar, similar hues. On all of the swatches, after you make them, you can flip them, and they'll have have their own names the, as well. The actual color. Right. Okay. I kind of need more stuffs, but. Oh, play the six yellow from my hand. Nice. What is? We had a bit of a drought of That's yellow, right. and then it all came six. at once. And I'll take the mix three. Three, three. So that's three green. Okay. Are you buying a swatch? Not the one I wanted, probably. Okay. But... <laughs> so we all get a card. And then next round. Uh, okay, so... These are all a bit rubbish. Yeah, these are indeed all a bit rubbish. So <laughs> I'm just going to take the first one. Um, and I'm not going to use it. And I'm going to play a four magenta. In fact, am I going to use it? Uh, no, I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to play four magenta. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, that's me done. Cool. Uh, I'm going to start off playing six magenta. Oops. If 
I can right hit the right button to copy. There we go. Then uh, mixing, mixing. I'm going to go for. Oh, uh, let me quickly surreptitiously check what I'm looking for. I'm going to go for the mix two. Am I going to play that? Yeah, let's do it. Let's play that. And then I'm going to make myself two green from these here. Okay. Oh, going to do it? oh yes. I was hoping you were going to do that and not, and not skip and take something from the next row. <laughs> oh no! I need, I need. That's fine. That's Magenta. Fine. Yeah, and I need yellow. Oh well, you're welcome. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then we all get a card. Oh, uh, I still could have played my mix card for my turn. Oh right? yeah, want to? yeah. If you want to play, yeah, some. it's yeah. just mix yeah. one, so it's. Yeah. A blue. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the four yellow. So one, two, three, four, and then I am playing a mix three. Boom. And we are gonna mix um one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's have some green. Okay. Oh, you're branching out of blue. Yeah, well, <laughs> blue was all the rage. You could become <laughs> Not known as the, the world's foremost blue artist. You know, other than the band blue, of course. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to play this four yellow from my hand. Then I'm going to grab this mix one, I think. Yep, mix one, and I'm going to make a. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to make it a red. There we go. I wonder how close you are to getting your second swatch. Okay, I wanted to take that one, but I'll take this mix <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm first playing the swap one from my hand, and I will swap with you, and play the mix to make another blue, and then I have a swatch. Hey. Four so blue. presumably we shuffle the discard pile and... Yes, yeah we do. Four blue, one green, two red. Two red, one green, and four blue. Okay, so what colour have you got? Bluish. <laughs> Number over, six. We can find out. Oh, flip it over. There you go. Nothing it's rhymes with. Nothing rhymes with R2G1B4. <laughs> <laughs> that Is that the say. actual colour name? Uh, so all the all the colour names of the swatches um, are made up. Um, oh right, okay. One of my favourite pieces of research for this game was going to B and Q and just looking at all the different paint <laughs> colours because let's face it, some of them are just ridiculous. Some of them are, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, some of these I made up myself, um, but also quite a few of them are user generated. So I've been right. uh, play testing this for a year and a half now. Yeah. And um, what, before I had properly printed. Uh, versions I used, you know, paper uh, versions of the swatches, and whenever someone made one, they got to name it themselves. Right. Nice. And so at home, I've got a big stack of all these user-generated names for colours, cool. and some of them are excellent. Some of them are made it onto the cards, and some of them were not suitable for publication. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, people spotted in the chat that I was cheating. Uh, one of my scions didn't delete apparently, so I have uh, I have fixed. I, I was wondering about that. 
Because yeah. I didn't know if I saw it correctly, but I was okay. like, well, yeah, no, I'm not going to call it, it out. <laughs> so, no, definitely call it out. Yeah, so... Um... Right, okay, next round. We'll get a card. Come on, be good. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Keep drawing rubbish cards. <laughs> um, so... Oh... Time for me to don't start want to do that. Math in my head. Yeah, I don't <laughs> really want to do that. Let's just have a look at what we've got here. Okay, so I really need. Uh, I've kind of got it, so I can do that. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's take the mix four, put it in hand. I'm not going to use it, but I am going to use a mix two. Here's one I prepared earlier, uh, which is two yellow, two magenta for two red. Now, I'm just going to have a look at some swatches because I'm pretty sure I can take one. You might have a choice yeah, in can. front of you as well. Um, so I'm going to take this one. Uh, and that cost me two red, two green, three blue. So two red, two green, three blue. And it is, uh, what a hell of a Yeah, that's one uh, from my local playtest group. Right, nice. Um, now I can play two cards, can't I? Yeah, so I'm gonna play four magenta. One, two, three, four. Okay, four, done. Cool, right. Um... I'm in need of cyan. Oh, three or four. Uh, I'm. De I mean, I'm definitely going to need. I'm going to need more than four, so I'm going to take the three and hope that another lowish number comes out at some point. So I'll have to see if that's the case. And then, is there anything I want to play from my hand? Not currently. What were yours, Emma? Mm. Oh. I'm first playing the five. Mm. Blue? Cyan? And I will... take... If I take this in my hand, can I play another card from my hand, or...? So you can play one from your hand, and then you can yeah. also play the one that you you pick. So uh, as you oh, played oh, one wait, from your no, hand, you can't play two it? from hand. No. Okay, I cheated then on my last turn. Oh, did you just do? Yeah. All oh, right. I thought you uh, played the one that you picked no, and then no, one I... from your hand. No. It's all I, right. uh, I'll just, took I just a... won't play a card this time. Magenta from you, Paul. Okay. So you got to blow that. Okay, so we get a card. And this doesn't want to go first. Flip my card. It appears to be a double sided card. From <laughs> what I can see. Uh I can I can see I can see both sides. I can oh. see I, you know the card I'm back the same and side. the front. I see the same side as well. That's that's curious. I'm just going to leave it there and take another card. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's showing That's the same on both sides. How peculiar. I will gladly take the five magenta. Yes. Oh, actually, I think I know why that is. Um, I think as I was taking a card from the deck, you... Took it at the same time. You, yeah, we both did it at the same time. So I took it out of the deck and then you, then you grabbed it. Because that's why it's showing for me and yeah. no one else. So this should actually be in my hand. Right, okay. Oh, yeah, because I, I had exactly the same cards as I had last time. That was interesting. Um... That's lightning fast reactions. That's like like grabbing a fly out of the air. And I will play my two yellow. Okay, so I'm going to take that six, and I'm not going to play a card from hand to make up for me cheating last time. <laughs> uh, so six yellow. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play mix one from my hand, and I'm going to make a blue. Then I'm not sure. In the interest of efficiency, probably the word you'll hear me that repeat the most during this playthrough. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a mix two, and I'm going to make two green which I'm sure I'll need at some point but might come to haunt me uh, at which point I believe I can make my second swatch okay yep so I'm gonna take swatch number four one red three green three blue and then spend one Red three green it's a bitsy and teely three. wheelie. Nice, like it. Bitsy teely wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And now we'll all just start neating up our piles. Okay. And we all get a card. Right, so me first. <laughs> now then. This is where I have to start being really precise to make sure I don't end up with way too much stuff. Yeah. Which I think um, I've actually already done. Yeah, you and me both. So I think <laughs> I'm going to need more yellow. Definitely think I'm going to need more yellow. So we'll go on to that and we will take five yellow. One, two, three, four but then I'm also going to play from hand a mix three. Did we? Oh yeah, we took the card. Never mind. And I'm going to use three yellow. One, two, three, and three magenta for three red. Okay, and now I'm just going to check what swatches we have available. Um, ah. Here's a thing. It would be good to have the number on the back of the card. On the back of the swatch card. Uh, oh, yeah. for which, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good shout. Um, yeah, I'll make sure to include that in the next update. Okay, so I'm not going to buy keep, a swatch. Keep flipping them. So that's me done. Okay, okay, right. Uh, oh. I'm going to take, mine's going to be a simple turn, uh, I'm going to take this swap one and put it in my hand because I have mm -hmm. a feeling I'm going to need that at some point, uh, and I'm, oh, let's look, I'm not going to play anything from my hand, yeah, I'm going to leave it as it is. I'll do the next one. I uh, will make a red, delete, delete, and I will play a mix three from my hand and make three blues. One, two, three, one, two, three. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's put some more cards on. And then we all get a card. Cool. Ah, and I get first pick. You do? Which I, I did for a reason. What was it? <laughs> oh yeah, it was the only sign on the board at the time, so I knew that I wanted it. <laughs> uh, although... Plans do change. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm still good with that. I'm going to play that and get four cyan. And then I'm going to play a mix two from my hand. 
and I'm going to make two blue. I'll get you the two blue if you want it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Emma. Yeah, uh, I'm all done. Yeah, when I was um, doing demos at Aircon, you know, the more I started, you know, distributing discs and cubes to everyone, I was like, I felt like I should have one of those um, little pushers that the croupiers have at a oh, casino. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just push them across to everyone. Yeah, I've got one of them. I... I've got a blackjack um, sort of casino set. And it, oh it's, nice. It's quite nice pushing them around. Yeah, maybe a uh, you know a, an add-on for the Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> Kickstarter stretch goal add-on. I made a red. Can I claim a swatch and then take my second turn, or like yep. play my second card? Because then yeah, I... yeah, you can do it in any order. Okay. So I'm taking the number three, two red, three greens, two blues. One, two, three greens, two reds, two blues. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Go for gold color. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to see what's on there. Uh, well, I definitely don't need any more yellow, he says. Don't think I do. <laughs> oh, I'm still thinking oh, if okay. I want to play my hand card, sorry. Um, That's alright. I'll, I'll doesn't really it. matter, probably, but... I'll take five yellow. Okay. I'm going to do that and I'm going to mix one. And it's going to be a blue and a yellow to get a green. And then I'm going to take Yeah, so we'll take two green, three red, and two blue, which I believe is that one. Three three red, two green, two blue. Yeah, so I'll take yeah. that one. Oh, okay, that's changed my plans. Okay, what have we got? We have <laughs> a little bit nudie. Okay. Uh, and then, because that's not all, I'm going to play a mix four from hand to make four more green. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, oh, two, man's three, got a plan. Four. There you go. Okay, that is me done. Let me get some more cards. It's all getting very close now. Something. All, on our, yep. all on our last swatch. Went. Did oh, someone take this one from the second round, maybe? or? Yeah, well, I was dragging and it seemed to pick up a different one. Yeah. There you go, <laughs> that'll be that. So, we all draw a card. And then it's Emma first. So, yeah, it's it's getting close, isn't it? Yeah, uh, and after once you know what all the different uh, scheme types are like as well, you can, you can start to see the patterns and yeah. try so and predict what, what other people, people are, are going for as well. Yeah. Um, so this... The six scheme cards, uh, and it's two of three types essentially. Right. So, just because you have one doesn't mean that someone else isn't going for the same thing. Okay, yeah, that's good. Mm. I'm playing the at two cyan one two. And I will take the five magenta. Oops. I do that. Right, okay. So on my go, uh, I'm going to go there and take that into hand and then the card I'm going to play from hand is mix two and we're going to mix two magenta and two cyan to make two red then I'm going to use the two red no. uh, you need uh, sorry yellow and magenta for red 
What did I do? Oh yeah, uh, I did the wrong ones, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Uh, to take this one. So there was the two red. I also need four green and a blue, which is all of this. Uh, okay, so what happens now is that I, I start removing these at the start of my turns, is that right? Yeah, so if you want to um, grab your scheme and put it in play, um, yeah. just to show us what you've been making, which would be the, yeah, the triad. So you've got one, three, and five. One, three, and five, yeah. So now, uh, let's see, so the active row is here. So what happens is your artist now goes to the end of the next row. Yeah. And what happens, we take our turns as normal. Then after we've done that, you um, put a color back into the supply. So, and when right. you have none left, you're the winner. Yeah. So what, what happens with is, the uh, blue? Mixed, mixed colors are treated the same as well. Okay. Right. So you've got six turns to win, basically. Yeah. Which is probably easily enough. <laughs> um, I was confident before, and then you took one of the swatches that I was planning to okay. make. Okay, so oh, I've, we'll I've had to change tack, so I'm definitely going to end up with more than we I will see. was previously. Right. Well, okay, I will say so... hello to people in the chat while you carry on playing. Jonathan, come back. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Thank you for joining in. Bill's here joined in. Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Yeah. So I've just triggered the end of the game, effectively. I don't need this. I don't of. need this. quickly scrambling about now uh what i do need is a mix two which i'll take and i'm going to mix those two to get two red and this is where i quickly think if i do that Yeah, this might work. Uh, I'm going to get five yellow, which... I can do that for you. Oh, yeah, cheers. One, two, three. Which seems insane at this late stage in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe I have a plan. <laughs> we'll see if it pays off. Okay, yeah, so, so I'm taking a card. Yeah, we've all done that. And I don't take cards now, do I? Uh, no. No, right, that's fine. I'm taking a mix three. And I am making three red. So that's one, two, three yellow, one, two, three magenta. And I will mix one green with a yellow and a cyan. Cool. Is that your turn? Go. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. So what I'm going to do is, uh, um, you don't want any of these cards, do you? Not particularly. No. Um, what I'm going to do is, yeah, that's quite interesting. Hmm. That's my my computer's thinking at the same time. Right. I'm going to play mix two from my hand i'm gonna get rid of two cyan and two yellow to get two green yeah scott's right scott's just put something about the end game that i should have done i should have played another mix one card before taking the swatch yeah so you had one less cube i, I had one fewer color to, to give back yeah and then yeah like i said i don't really need any of these so i'm just going to pop here and I'm going to um, just discard that one. Oh, you can discard it. You don't have to put it in hand. Uh, yeah. So um, at the beginning, I said you can either put it in your hand, play it straight away, or just bin it. Okay. Uh, so um, now you re remove a yay! color. So we'll remove this one. Should have just deleted it, but that's it. There you go. And then presumably I move to the end again. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then we take our turn. And review, you draw a card. And I'll take a card. So then, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
go here. I'm going to play a mix one. I'll make a red. And then I'm going to play from my hand a mix one to get another red. Got your third swatch. And make my third swatch. So yeah. four red, one green, and two blue. Four red, one green, two blue. Yeah, so you're just ahead of me. To grab this one. Oh, what was my third colour? Which is Bubblegum Charlie. Mine was, it's meant to be. <laughs> so nice. I can, can I skip this row and go to the top row now? Uh, you can, yes. so uh, my artist just goes over, over to the end here. Because then I'd want to... Mm -hmm. Oh, I still get a card, right? Uh, not yet. You've mm -hmm. drawn your card for this current turn. Because uh, this is the active row here currently. Oh, right. So normally okay. you'd be placing here, but because you're last, you get to... I'm making two more blues. I've removed something. And then I have my last swatch as well. Okay. Which is three green, one... Three red, one green, three blue. Three blue, three red. So one green. you Scott get to remove a cube. Yeah, so then I've got your name. Yeah. Purple. Minerva Minerva. purple. Oh yeah. I had to had to slip it in there somehow. Uh yeah, so we both remove something and then yeah, at this point we'll take it in turns to to remove a cube until we have none left. Well it's very, very close. And that is a you, very you're close gonna game. remove two, we're gonna remove two, and that leaves us both with one. But yeah, if yeah. I played that one first, like I should have done. Um, the mixed one, yeah. Yeah, we both would have uh, ended on the same turn. Which is the tie? And um, what, what's the tie break if that happens? Uh, cards in hand, so I had five. Yeah, I probably would have been throwing mine away. <laughs> I was just picking them up, even the ones I didn't need. So, cool, nice little game. So, so the yeah, there we go. Let's target watch. audience for this game. Um, it's it's for um mostly f it's kind of like post gateway i yeah. would say maybe so people who've played games such as uh, like say king domino um which has like a similar drafting style yeah or century spice road which obviously has a, a similar kind of resource exchange um they will be able to come in straight in and and pick this game up yeah. um but also uh, i have had non-gamers um play it as well uh, yeah. my parents for example i played yeah. traditional uh, board games but they've been able to play and understand it yeah um through expert tuition of course yeah i, I was going to say it, it's probably a step up from king domino but i think it's on par with century spice road so yeah. it's definitely aiming at the at the family market um but also yeah, a way to introduce people to as you say this is a game i could play with a family who weren't gamers yeah yeah i've had um i've had quite a few families play it at shows i've had um my my ultimate test was at Dragon Meat, which was yeah. um, a four player game where uh, it was all kids range age range from eleven to fifteen, I think. Okay. And so I, that was the test to see what kind of the age range was, and um, yeah, the eleven year olds were were fine with it. So right. that's why I've set rough ten yeah. or eleven plus. Yeah. Uh, another another kind of demographic that I've um, repeatedly said that appeals to them is. Uh, a lot of a lot of couples where one of them prefers like, heavier Euro games and the others mm -hmm. prefer um, slightly more casual games. Uh, yeah. I had quite a few couples playing it because it's got that little mathy edge to it that if yeah. you really want to get deep into it, you can try and plan several turns ahead and make sure you're efficient as possible. Yeah. Um, or you can kind of like fly by the seat of your pants and go, oh, I want I want this one, I want this one, and, and keep going. Yeah. Um, and both of them are legitimate because. Uh, my fiance, who's obviously played this with me a lot, we have those approaches. I like to play very efficiently, and she likes to, you know, play turn by turn. And yeah. she still has a, a decent win rate against me as well. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, so we said we were going to mention it. So Virtual GridCon is happening a week from today. So a week a week today is the start of Virtual GridCon, uh, which for those people watching who don't know what it is, it's, uh, it's an online virtual convention which I'm hosting and I'm running. It's free to attend if you are interested in attending. Uh, it is Friday uh, the 26th of June to Sunday 28th of June. Um, and various designers are turning up and they're going to be demoing their games. Uh, Vital Lacerda is going to be there, David Turtz is going to be there, 
Uh, and Scott, you've got your own demo table. Well, if you haven't, yes, I, have I will indeed. create it for you. Um, but yeah, so it's all being organized through a Discord server. Uh, basically, go to gridcon.co.uk if you're interested. And there's a Facebook group, which is the Gridcon Facebook group. Uh, and we're going to be raising money for charity. There's going to be a big charity raffle uh, as well. So yeah, so thank you, Scott, for running some demos of it. Um, no, that's all right. I've 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 put some in the timetable already for... Yep for friday and throughout saturday as well yeah so cool. yeah if you like what you see then feel free to come along and, and see if you can beat me as well yeah 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 either play a game with scott or you're welcome to just you know try try it out yourself on tabletop simulator um yep. going to be going to kickstarter on august in, in august possibly on the fourth but yep. as soon as you've got a link to it um I, I yeah we can put the link in the show notes of this video and then um yeah, I mean, if you want to put this video on the Kickstarter page, you're more than welcome. It's not obviously polished, but <laughs> it's fine. No, yeah, it's, I'll, fine. It's, a, it's a good example of a game, especially with a, with a close finish. Yeah. Being able to pin down exactly, you know, classic. I would have won if. Yes, I would have won. I, I, well, at least I'd have tied. <laughs> yeah. If. Yeah, cool. Right. Well, thank you very much, Emma, for your time. Yeah, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, thanks for playing. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's I'm good, glad you got to, to try it out. Play game well. Asia um and yeah i will be back in what time is it now is it five o'clock just after five just i need five, to go and put yeah. dinner on uh, i will be back in 45 minutes time with a live <laughs> playthrough of too many bones which i need to frantically get ready and learn how to play um so yeah i'll see some of you here later on um Good thanks luck, everybody Paul. for watching and we'll see you all next time if i can find me streaming somewhere yeah right cheers everybody bye now bye thank you everyone cheers paul Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.